Hey, what is up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher from We Are Film, and sorry for the little bit of a pause. I've been sick, a lot of stuff going on, but I have a DaVinci Resolve tutorial for you today. And this one is very simple, but it's something that I see very often that people get confused about, and that is when you have audio that is mono, or it is in your left channel most likely, in your left channel only. Um, now, I'm not sure if this is going to play back for you in the left channel only, just the way I'm recording this, but right now, uh, this audio is from an external recorder, and basically it's just dialogue, and at least for me, again, this is only on my left channel. I was six years old, and I was... So that is only on the left-hand channel, meaning that we want it to be on both, obviously, right? So we want it to be stereo. So it's kind of confusing how you might do this, and you can do this in two of ways. So you can do it actually inside of the bin, which is pretty much the recommended way. Um, so you go to whatever that is, so in my case, footage, I'm going to go to audio, and then I would find the clip. And the thing you might want to do is do this with all of the clips. I'm going to quick show you how to do it for a single clip first, and then I'll show you how to do it for all of them. So for the single clip, you're going to go to that clip, click on it, and right click, and then go to, uh, where is it here, clip attributes. Now you're gonna see there's gonna be a video tab, an audio tab. Now I've showed you before that if you're in the video tab, that's how you do something like slow motion or changing the frame rate. But for audio, we are going to go to where it says format, stereo. Now if you were doing something different, of course you could do that. Uh, in this case, stereo. Now if this audio is embedded, so if it's just an audio clip, it'll just say embedded channel one and then mute. If this is a linked audio, so something you synced up, you'll see linked audio one. So again, you just select that. And now what it's doing is it's filling the right channel with your audio one from the left channel. And so now, there we go. I was six years old and I was dressed. I was... Now we have audio in both. So it's as simple as that. It's a pretty easy thing to do again. But one thing that you might want to do is, let's say you have a lot of audio that you know is mono and you want to convert everything to stereo. You can go into your bin with all of your audio. You can command or control A, right click and then clip attributes, and then you can do this for all of them. So you can change all of these to stereo, all of those to that embedded channel, or linked, and then now every single one of them has been changed. That's the easier way to do it, and that's probably the best way to do it. But again, if you want to do it on a track-by-track -track basis or a clip-by-clip -clip basis, that is the easy way to do it. So, there you go. It's very simple. Now, be sure if you're not subscribed already, be sure to do so. We're going to be doing a very big behind the scenes on this short film that we made. We shot it on the Ursa Mini Pro G2. We also have a massive uh, gear review, unboxing, all kinds of stuff coming very soon. Some cool music video behind the scenes. So we have a lot of very interesting stuff coming soon, so be sure to subscribe if you're not already. Also, be sure to listen to our We Are Film podcast if you are also not listening to that. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.